Hello, Virgos. Welcome to your November 2020 reading. Please remember that this is a general reading. So take from it what you can and leave the rest for others. Also, timing is fluid and the roles can be reversed. So um, I would hugely appreciate it if you can hit the like button for me and uh, subscribe to receive the bell notification. I am sorry, we are still in Mercury Retrograde. So if I said subscribe to receive the bell notification icon, you know where this is going. Please hit the bell notification icon to receive regular updates from me. And uh, Virgos, I am going to go live tomorrow on 31st of October on Halloween to offer free readings through tarot cards. So if you want to ask me a question, do, do join me on YouTube. Wonderful. So let's begin with your reading. The cards are just waiting did actually pop into they have so many wow Dorian's just got this card and you have wonderful i think i'm going to do your reading with this so where goes the first card that you have is that of gates of triumph then you have the card of reaching your destination then you have the card of answering the call I feel like uh, uh, Virgos, a fabulous time has opened up in your life right now. Those gates or those times that you never thought are going to show up, they are here. In the month of November for you, they are here. And I feel like this energy is going to begin to show up in your lives after the first um, one week of uh, um, November. Again, remember, that <coughs> I'm sorry. This is divine timing or this is psychic timing. So it may be a little up and down depending on your personal chart. But I feel like for a large part of you, this is happening after the first for seven or ten days of November. You will see new opportunities come in with so much speed that um, you probably weren't even ready or you thought they're never going to happen or it's taking forever. And I feel you with the card of reaching your destination. Virgos, you people are shining so brightly here right now. It's like you're radiating positivity and uh, people around you are just not prepared. They weren't expecting this from you. And I know, uh, Virgos, that you have been waiting for this time. You've just been waiting for your time to come. And now it's here. I also see a butterfly in this card. And I also feel like the spirit side is very closely connecting and guiding you. And your intuitive abilities are sharpening to new heights here. I also feel some of you uh, could even be seeing orbs or lights or um, you're experiencing the help from the spirit side in a new way. Something you have not done or never felt before. Some of you Virgos could even be interested in sky gazing in the month of November is what I see. I also get, you have the, uh, Virgos, you often get uh, the energy of uh, Libra in your readings. Now again, I have the card of justice here for you. I feel like you're getting something just in time. This is the time you have been waiting for and it is here. Things are going to balance themselves out here. But Virgos, you're also being asked not to take uh, shortcuts. And uh, to be very thorough in all that you do, if, if, if it's something you need to educate yourself upon, do that right now. Um, I feel like you're going to be called upon to um, maybe explain yourself or talk about something. But you need to be very well prepared. You can't uh, leave loose ends here. Don't cut the, uh, the edges here. Work on everything thoroughly with, uh, you know, you are a hard worker, Virgo. So I just need to tell you not to leave anything loose here. And with the King of Cups, I definitely feel there is some new love coming into your life. And this is a very sensitive, very emotional person. Um, this is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But uh, mostly I feel that this is, uh, yeah, this is, a, uh, this is a very emotionally sensitive person. And I also feel like um, you have been waiting for this person to come along into your life for a long time. But you've not been sure whether you should go forward uh, allow them to step into your life there have been these moments of push and pull and confusion uh, a lot of times for you but you're just ready to go out and say yes and then you come back and think to yourself am i am i really ready to do that but now i feel you are going to take that leap of faith here you are going to go forward there's something you are definitely ste stepping into something has been knocking on your door and you're going to answer that call right now 
I have the card of fellow travelers and I feel like this is your soul family stepping in or some people who are really close. This, these could even be past life connections. I did readings for uh, Scorpios and um, one more sign. Uh, and I got that a lot of past life energy, past life supportive people are stepping into their life. And I feel like where goes, you could have some fellow earth signs coming in uh, to help you. But these are very loving, supportive energy and they are going to form a chain that you will realize much later who will take your work from one corner, one step to the other. These could even be fellow Virgos for you. I have the card of Great Adventure. Virgos, you are definitely traveling in the month of November. So if uh, you Virgos have been uh, holding yourself back or have been thinking or asking yourself, when am I going to travel? When am I going to go somewhere? I am so done with this place or I need to travel for some work. That's happening for you in the month of November, Virgos. And uh, this could be a much-awaited trip you are taking. And I'm, I am feeling excited about you guys. Okay, so this is a four of wands. Why, why do we have a four of wands here? Wonderful. Virgos, I feel like your travel is going to bring in a lot of new opportunities or help you meet people who could help you, you know, um, um, rediscover yourself, your abilities, talk about how good you are. And that helps you recognize your power, your talents, your strength. Some of these people could even be taking your name forward or recommending you to someone else. Um, I, I, I see like a caliper, a scale or a compass. I don't know what it has to do with you. I don't know if you, some of you Virgos listening to this are engineers, have something to do with compass, scale or uh, calipers. Um, but uh, I definitely see you working or you could be meeting people who are working with these things. Uh, this is so specific. Um, I don't know uh, who this is going to resonate with. But yeah, there, I see a lot of apparatus, scientific apparatus here. And um, I also see here Virgos that um, you could be making a big purchase. Some of you Virgos could be making a big purchase. Some of you Virgos are also meeting a fellow Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And uh, they're coming in with a lot of good opportunities, help and support for you, Virgos, in the month of November. You have the Seven of Cups, uh, Virgos. I feel like the Seven of Cups is telling me um, you could be spoiled for choices. There will be so many opp opportunities that you can work with and go forward with. Um, you might feel spoiled for choices. But uh, dearies, I feel like this is just the time you have been waiting for and praying for to manifest. And it's here. It's here for you in the month of November. I have the card of Aerophant for you. And I feel like, um, well, goes, like I said in the beginning, you need to structure yourself, organize your ideas, and don't leave any loose ends because I see some kind of authority or this could be people from the tax department or some cases that have been going on for you or someone has been keeping an eye on you and then they don't have a lot of good feelings or vibes for you and um, they're just waiting for you to make that one mistake and so that they can pounce, pounce on you but I hope, wish and pray that they don't. Let me see what, what, what results this is going to bring. You have the energy of Knight of Cups. You're going to get help but you need to tread with caution. Any matters dealing with uh, public public relations a government authority or people in a powerful position you need to deal with them very cautiously and be very diplomatic as well so you have the three of pentacles like i said you need to be very cautious when you're dealing with people you have the three of pentacles a lot of people are going to approach you and i feel like a lot of your virgos could even be asking for a hike or uh, maybe getting some kind of bonus some kind of reward some kind of recognition or um you know, if you're working for yourself, you could be increasing your, um, what do you call that? You could be increasing uh, your pay, you know, you could be increasing your fee, asking for a raise in the salary. You have the four of swords. Finally, Virgos, I feel like you're going to get some sleep. If you haven't been getting enough sleep or your sleep cycle has been disturbed, I feel like you're receiving uh, a lot of uh, healing energies from the universe and... Uh, at the same time, while you're sleeping, universe is also giving you a lot of guidance. I feel like, Virgos, you need to trust your intuition in the month of November. Your intuition is going to get you to the right places and be with the right people. I have the card of Queen of Wands. I feel like this is your energy. And I feel like you're going to stand out in the crowd, be very, very popular, very social. And you're going to 
hit the jackpot with powerful people i feel you're going to meet a lot of people and these these people are going to show up in your life as pillars of strength in the coming times for you let me draw you some more cards and see messages for virgo messages for virgos in the month of november 2020 please i have the master virgos you have been doing so much inner work for yourself in the past you get the card of the master in the month of november i feel like you your you becoming a lot more clever than before and i mean it in the good light it's needed it's required for you you've been down and uh, keeping a low profile for a long time and those around you have begun to feel that there isn't much to you but now you're going to come out and show them that uh, this is you you are a master of some sort in whatever you do and you're not ready to stay low you're going to come out and shine bright I have the card of completion, Virgos. Um, I already had the card of. Uh, that's not come out for you right now. Okay, you have the card of completion, Virgos. I feel like some project, something that you had been uh, waiting to finish in the month of October, maybe tidbits were left here and there. You're going to do that uh, completely in the month of November, and probably if you have to send it out, you're going to do that. For other Virgos, I feel like this was some decision that was pending, and you had to arrive at. And you're going to take that decision right now. You're going to finalize that. I feel like you're going to put the last nail in the coffin. And you will be standing tall. You'll be standing in your ground in, in the month of November. You'll be feeling confident about that decision. For other Virgos, uh, I feel like um, there, is, there is something coming to a close in your life. You were, you were emotionally uh, very disturbed about this for some time. You've been thinking very hard. And not knowing where to go, where this life is taking you. But finally, I feel like you're taking a decision. And you're closing a chapter in your life to begin something new, fresh, more lively. And uh, something more rewarding. Let me get you one more card. I have the card of isolation. You're going to spend some time. Here. Now, don't go by the picture in the card that the person is crying. I feel like you've done this already and you've gotten rid of this energy. You are just going to enjoy this new phase is what I feel. Whatever tears had to come, fall and whatever um, this inner work you had to do, that's done. That's complete. That's gone. You're going to enjoy the new phase. Ordinariness. When this card comes out in a reading, I feel like you're going to look at life fresh, new. You're going to sm enjoy small little things. And something that you thought, um, you know, sometimes we feel like um, happiness is going to come to us if we do something really big, something huge, or a big something that takes place in our life. But now you're going to begin to enjoy every little thing around you. And that's bliss, Virgo. That's bliss. When you begin to notice the life around you, you know how blessed you are. Somebody is praying for what you already have. So you are stepping into that energy of ordinariness. You have the Beyond Illusion card. So everything that you have been confused with, and I feel this has got to do a lot with relationships, family, atmosphere, environment, and uh, this um, emotional relationships, emotional connects. And I feel like uh, you Virgos are going through a personality change at this point in time, if you understand what I mean. But a lot of you Virgos are going to feel different about yourself and people around you are going to compliment you. They're going to tell you, they're going to tell you there's a glow about you and you'll see. You have the card of creativity just before you I did the reading for Torrens and the card that they also had in their reading was Gates of Triumph and Creativity. Virgos, you are so fertile, so creative right now. Also, when the card of creativity comes out, I need to tell you, you're very attractive at this moment. So um, if you, if some of you looking at this reading are pregnant, congratulations, Virgos. If you're not looking to get pregnant, then please watch out. And I also feel you're, you're going to burst with ideas. There are so many ideas bubbling inside of you. You will see one after the other. And I suggest that you pen these ideas down. Because in the coming times, you're going to draw from these ideas and keep working in the future as well. Your mind is so fertile here in the month of November. You have the card of turning in. Just now I told you, um, keep writing these ideas because these ideas are divinely guided and the spirit is also very close to you, working very, very closely 
with you right now virgos so um instead of feeling spooked scared when i say the word spirit understand spirit energy also um covers spirit guides angels high masters and many many beautiful souls so you are connecting with them they are around you all you need to do is meditate for a while even if you're meditating 10 minutes a day you will be able to receive this energy but you need to do this so let me draw just one more card for you and we'll uh, see what is the final message we have for you for the month of november we have one we have one ace of water virgos ace of water is the ace of cups and mm -hmm. i feel like virgos you are falling in love many of you virgos if you've been waiting for a relationship to happen for you that's happening for you in the month of november i feel more so towards um or after the second week of november this is coming in with a lot of speed and i also feel there is a lot of spiritual growth and intuitive enhancements happening for you so you could be meeting a past life connection somebody who's coming in with a lot of speed or has a lot of a lot to share with you or the two of you could have a lot of things in common or um you begin uh, to develop this close bond with this person um and um you're feeling um really really positive about it and i feel like some of you virgos could be buying a new house moving into a new house redoing your house renovating something to do with the house some of you virgos may ha be having your house warming parties right now some of you virgos may be having lots of friends over to celebrate like i said you're very fertile very attractive and you have a lot of social uh, uh, communications happening i'm like a lot of people coming into your life here virgos and i feel like a lot of you virgos could be reading a, lots of books either educating yourself writing books or uh, probably some of you virgos are even ordering some books or you're getting hands on books that were either not available previously or you've been wanting to but there's a lot of things to do with books please do write in the comment section if you uh, understand what i mean but virgos overall this is looking like a month of abundance for you new love is coming in for sure then there are lots of powerful people coming in from past lives and very supportive loving energies lots of travel happening for you probably a long awaited travel happening for you and i feel the spirit guides and angels working very closely with you you are shining brightly with the queen of wands energy you're very attractive very popular and i kind of feel like there's a glow about you and this 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 is not just the glow in your energy feel this is glow on the physical front too and people are going to notice this they might even ask you what is it that you and what is uh, the new something you're doing about yourself to um you know because it's it's so going to be so obvious and uh, money is definitely looking good in the month of november where goes but this money is coming to you from a big opportunity something that you have either worked towards or you were thinking about begin now spirit tells me begin now take your first step something you've been waiting to enact do it now because you also have the card of completion here in the month of november so if you've been working on a project contract or um something literary something anything get it out into the world and the time to begin is now it's a very powerful time for you virgos anything you sow the seeds for right now at this moment in time you are going to um you're going to reap the rewards probably in the month of march or towards march but that's happening for you virgos beautiful reading thank you thank you for joining me don't forget to um come on to my channel tomorrow as i go live on uh, halloween 31st of october and off of uh, live readings here through cards tarot tarot cards and um you'll get notified if you are subscribed to my channel and if you've hit the bell notification icon i would hugely hugely appreciate it if you can give this reading a thumbs up and to my lovely workers bye bye stay safe stay healthy and god bless